Picture this. It's a warm summer evening. The sun setting in a blaze of oranges and pinks as you settle into a cozy armchair. Popcorn at the ready. The year is 1948, and the flickering screen before you holds a promise of adventure, romance, and a touch of the unexpected. You're about to embark on your first encounter with the pirate a cinematic masterpiece that would forever leave its mark on your heart. As the film unfolds, you find yourself transported to a world of swashbuckling pirates and the enchanting beauty of the Caribbean. Judy Garland's captivating performance as Manuela, a young Caribbean girl with dreams of a daring pirate, draws you in with every note of her melodic voice. But it's the irresistible charisma of Gene Kelly cast as the flamboyant and charming Seraphine that truly steals the show. The chemistry between the two leads is electric, igniting the screen with a passion that lingers long after the credits roll. And then, there are the unforgettable moments Seraphine's mesmerizing dance on the rooftop, the playful banter between our protagonists, and the whirlwind romance that sweeps you off your feet. The film is a symphony of emotions, a roller coaster of laughter and longing that resonates with you on a profound level. Now, as we journey beyond the silver screen and into the realm of intriguing trivia, let me whisk you away to some lesser-known facts about the pirate. Did you know that Vincent Minnelli directed the cinematic gem? Or that the film's costumes, designed by the legendary Irene Sheriff, were so extravagant that they almost bankrupted the studio? And the musical, The Music. Composed by the renowned Cole Porter, the score adds a layer of magic that's impossible to forget. So, as we delve deeper into the enigmatic world of the pirate, prepare to be dazzled by the secrets, stories, and behind-the-scenes gems that make this classic an enduring masterpiece. Stay tuned for more captivating revelations. All right here. All right here. The Pirate, a 1948 musical film directed by Vincent Minnelli and starring Gene Kelly and Judy Garland, is a vibrant and whimsical production that has left an indelible mark on the world of cinema. Set in the Caribbean, the film tells the story of a young woman, Manuela, who dreams of escaping her mundane life and finding love with the legendary pirate, Mac the Black. However, her plans are thrown into disarray when Seraphin, a charismatic actor posing as Mac, arrives in town. The film is a delightful blend of romance, comedy, and music, featuring memorable performances by Garland and Kelly, with their chemistry lighting up the screen. The Pirate is renowned for its unique style and extravagant musical numbers, choreographed by the legendary Gene Kelly himself. The film's standout sequence is the famous Be a Clown dance, where Kelly pays tribute to the great silent film comedian, Charlie Chaplin. This visually stunning and energetic scene showcases Kelly's remarkable talent as a dancer and performer. Additionally, Garland's powerful vocals shine throughout the film, especially in the songs Mac the Black and Love of My Life. While The Pirate was not a commercial success upon its initial release, it has since gained a cult following and is celebrated for its innovative art direction, colorful costumes, and lively performances. It stands as a testament to the creative brilliance of its era and has left a lasting impact on the musical genre in cinema. The Pirate continues to be cherished by fans of classic Hollywood musicals, thanks to its captivating storytelling and the enduring charisma of its iconic stars. This cinematic gem is a timeless piece of entertainment that continues to enchant audiences today, proving that true artistry never goes out of style. In the 1948 movie The Pirate, Gene Kelly played a crucial role not only in front of the camera, but also behind it. He helped invent a device that allowed the bulky Technicolor cameras to shoot from low angles, contributing to the film's visually striking scenes. However, the production of The Pirate wasn't without its share of drama. Arguments, conflicts, and creative differences between Judy Garland and director Vincent Minnelli, who were married at the time, marred the film's prolonged production. These issues reportedly played a part in their divorce after the movie's completion. Adding to the tension was the fact that the pirate turned out to be a rare box office dud in Judy Garland's otherwise successful late 1940s career. During filming, Judy Garland was known to smoke four packs of cigarettes a day, a habit that was common in Hollywood during that era but has since become less acceptable due to health concerns. In summary, the pirate not only featured innovative camera techniques thanks to Gene Kelly but also witnessed the strain on Judy Garland and Vincent Minnella's marriage and Garland's heavy smoking habit during production. 
In the 1948 movie The Pirate, directed by Vincent Minnelli, there are interesting facts related to the film's production and its impact on racial attitudes in the southern United States. One notable incident during the filming involved Judy Garland, who played the lead role. On the first day of shooting the hypnosis scene in the town square, Garland, who was dealing with the effects of various medications, became disoriented. She panicked upon seeing the lit torches on the set and even started hallucinating that she was on fire. In her distress, she asked crew members and extras for substances like benzedrine or reefers. Eventually, Garland was taken home still in her costume putting an unusual twist on the day's shoot. Another remarkable aspect of the film was the musical production finale featuring the song Be a Cloud, composed by Cole Porter. This sequence showcased the extraordinary acrobatic and dancing talents of the Nicholas brothers, Fayard and Harold, alongside Gene Kelly, who also choreographed the number. It was the first time the Nicholas brothers had danced on screen with a Caucasian partner. Kelly insisted on their inclusion, but the racial prejudices of the time led to consequences for the Nicholas brothers. When the film was distributed to theaters in the southern states, including Memphis, the Be a Clown sequence was deleted due to its featuring black performers. This segregation-driven decision effectively blackballed the Nicholas brothers, causing them to move to Europe until their comeback appearance on the Hollywood Palace in 1964. It's worth noting that both Gene Kelly and Judy Garland fought to include the Nicholas brothers in the film, but their efforts faced opposition from exhibitors in the South. As a result, the Southern audience missed out on this groundbreaking performance, while audiences in the Northern states were allowed to enjoy the entire end production presentation. In summary, The Pirate not only delivered a unique and memorable musical experience, but also shed light on the racial bigotry prevalent in the southern United States during that era, affecting the careers of talented performers like the Nicholas Brothers. These historical aspects add depth to the film's legacy, showcasing the challenges faced by African American artists in the entertainment industry of the time. History of the time. History of the time. The Pirate, unveiling the intriguing facts in 1947. The Pirate embarked on a tumultuous journey of production, stretching from February to December. This extended timeline sent production costs soaring, casting a shadow on its profitability prospects. The film's financial woes were limited to its prolonged production. It also faced a lukewarm reception from the ticket-buying public, exacerbating its financial losses. This dual blow of a costly production and tepid audience response painted a bleak financial picture for the movie. One of the film's most notorious moments was the torrid romance portrayed by Judy Garland and Gene Kelly in the song and dance number Voodoo. This passionate scene so infuriated MGM Chief Louis B. Mayer that he demanded the negative be consigned to the flames. Mayer's fiery response to this scene added an unexpected twist to the film's history. Despite its initial struggles, the pirate found an unexpected resurgence overseas in the 1960s. Judy Garland's mention of the title during her 1964 performance in Australia garnered applause from the audience. Garland herself jokingly remarked to her fans, you must be the only ones who saw it. This revival of interest in the film decades after its release showcased its enduring appeal. The pirate may have faced production woes in a fiery controversy, but it ultimately found its place in the hearts of movie agors, securing a unique spot in cinematic history. Cinematic history. In 1948, the movie The Pirate made its mark in Hollywood with some intriguing behind-the-scenes facts. Here's a glimpse into the making of this classic film, Makoko's name change, when it came to composing the movie's songs. Cole Porter had one condition. He wanted to change the name of the pirate from Estramundo to Makoko. This change was made in honor of his friend, whose nickname was Mac the Black. Nishalas solo dance, during a dance rehearsal, Gene Kelly accused Harold Nicholas of not knowing the routine. In response, Nicholas danced the entire routine solo, flawlessly, leaving Kelly speechless. On set psychiatrist, in a unique move for its time, the studio hired a psychiatrist, paid from the film's production budget, to ensure Judy Garland's mental well-being during the shooting of The Pirate. This marked a first in Hollywood history. These lesser-known facts shed light on the creative process and challenges faced during the making of The Pirate in 1948, providing a glimpse into the world behind the silver screen. screen, screen. In the 1948 movie The Pirate, Judy Garland and Gene Kelly teamed up for the second time out of three movie musicals they did together. 
This iconic duo also shared the screen in for me and my gal in Summerstock. Interestingly, in the 1952 MGM musical Singin' in the Rain, the song Make Him Laugh was somewhat borrowed from Be a Clown, a song from the pirate, although Cole Porter, who wrote Be a Clown, didn't raise any objections. Both movies were MGM productions, and Gene Kelly appeared in the Make Him Laugh segment of Singin' in the Rain, although he didn't do the singing. That was Donald O'Connor's role. Despite its star-studded cast and talented crew, The Pirate was a major financial disappointment for MGM upon its release. The film ended up losing a staggering $2 million, making it a significant financial bust for the studio. In summary, The Pirate marked the second collaboration between Judy Garland and Gene Kelly in a series of three, and it also had an unexpected connection to the classic musical Singin' in the Rain. However, despite its star power, the film failed to make a profit, leaving MGM in the red. As we draw the curtains on this cinematic journey through the enchanting world of the pirate, I invite you to pause and reflect on the tapestry of emotions it wove within you. This 1948 masterpiece, directed by Vincent Minnelli and starring the incomparable Gene Kelly and Judy Garland, isn't just a film. It's an artistic treasure chest that holds memories, fantasies, and a kaleidoscope of feelings. Perhaps you were captivated by the swashbuckling allure of Kelly's character, Seraphin, or the effervescent charm of Garland's Manuela. Maybe it was the hypnotic rhythm of Cole Porter's melodies that lingered in your mind, or the sumptuous technicolor that transported you to a bygone era. The Pirate is more than celluloid, it's a timeless reverie, a muse to inspiration, and a reflection of the passion that lies within each of us. As you bid adieu to this cinematic gem, I encourage you to share your cherished memories, musings, or insights about The Pirate. How did it make you feel? Did it ignite a hidden longing for adventure or stir the flames of romance in your heart? Your unique perspective enriches the tapestry of this film's legacy and ensures that its magic lives on. Thank you for embarking on this cinematic voyage with us and for sharing your thoughts and sentiments about the pirate. Your presence has made this experience all the more extraordinary. Until we meet again in the world of storytelling and cinema, be well and keep those cherished memories alive. With cinematic warmth and appreciation,